This is Floridian Rollo. Once again, this is Floridian Rollo coming at you with another video pre recorded. So, we have a situation that's been going on the past week where this particular German lady, she was interviewed by Antoine Daniels, and now. She got more feedback from the ladies in America. So what further to do, let's get to the clip. Oh boy, what a weekend. I know we all woke up to my face on your news feed, which actually is a good thing. And it all... Ooh, we She letting it be known. She letting it be known right then and there. Y'all worrying about me. Y'all so focused on me that I still got my man... I got my husband for 15 years. Yeah, she's been married to her husband for 15 years. And they saying that he's this and that and all that and the third and her this and that and the third. So you're going to hear what she has to say. Happened because there is this one video that has went viral. Right. Today I'm going to respond to a couple of reaction videos, and as you guys know, a lot of them are good, but the majority coming from women, of course, are bad. Are we surprised at the Here insults? We go. No. Are we surprised at the name calling? No. Are we surprised that some women are triggered? No. Why? Because they're the problem, not me. Before I get into the first clip, I do want to. As she stated, they're the problem, not her. They the problem, not her. Okay, let's go. Address and make it clear one more time that I never attacked black women. I never attacked any woman. I never said anything against black women. I don't even understand where all this hate towards me is coming from. I do have an explanation, but that's a different story. But as far as today, get ready, sit back, relax, because I will be cooking, roasting, stirring and frying, and eating these broads up. Shout out to her. Shout out to her. She got to say what she got to say in her statement in that particular case. And she loves her husband. And they can't take that away from her. Okay? They can't take that away from her. Let's go. One more time. Let's go. This video is dedicated to that German woman who's on the internet and black woman's business. First of all, you're stupid. Stupid. That is so childish. I don't give up how many valid points that German woman had or if she was right or wrong. She don't get a chance to speak on black women. But here is the hard truth. Well, some of you didn't believe me when I was talking to you about German women and their love for black men. I already knew I had him because there was simply no competition out there for me. It was not loud. I was not. So she explained it. Like I said, this the video was taken out of context for the most part of what she said. She is explaining it in detail. A lot of people didn't see the full video. You know, she said on Antoine that she does not be on TikTok or Instagram as much as YouTube. So you have to go to her YouTube channel to check it out. Screaming, I was not trying to, you know, be louder than him. I didn't interrupt them because... Oh! Man, these people are taking it to the next level. This is crazy. Whew. Why you come down here messing with What's the point of your video? Don't you got a man? You trying to be a pick me? Pick me? Now, I came up with the terminology pick me sphere. And now it is throughout the other stages and even on the mainstream media. Okay? I came up with the coin pick me sphere. So they calling her a pick me. No, she's not a pick me. No, she's not a pick me. A pick me is a woman that wants validation from every man. And she doesn't have a man for herself. Or if she do have a man, she's not really into that man. 
She wants other men to pick her. That's what it means. She's not a pit me fish. She's been with her husband for 15 years, respectfully. Okay? That's the difference. Who you trying to be a pick me to? Insult after insult coming from a woman who is laying in her bed eating olives. Not even fixed, right? But I understand. As the great Kevin Samuels said. Ooh, she said not even fits right. Oh, man. That's crazy cold. Ooh, we. The characteristics of a low value woman are insult, guilt, shame, and the need to be right. And what. Did that lets you know the world know who Kevin Samuels is. The world know who Kevin Samuels is because it's been worldwide. He's the only one of the few YouTubers that's known worldwide. His message is worldwide, not only in America, worldwide at that time. Let's go. We see in these last past couple of seconds, exactly that. I've been tagging this video multiple times. And initially I wanted to make notes because it's a lot. Just to let you know, her dad could be so-called black and her mom's is definitely so-called white. You can see the features. You can't go by the skin tone. You can see the features somewhat. Okay? However, she gonna go in on her. I know that for a fact. Let's go. Right. It's, 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 a, it's a whole lot. So, I thought, um, well, I can sum it up for you. In under five minutes. The main point, actually the two main points, but the first main point, if you start your video by labeling your husband average, you have lost every decency and respect from my side. And I know I'm not the only person that says it this way because... Woman, I don't know where you came from, but I see that you have tattoos on your fingers and on your YouTube channel, you got your middle finger in the air and using that as a profile picture. I'm actually happy that I don't have your respect because that would mean that you and I are on the same level. And honey, trust me, we are not. And when I say... Ooh, we. I mean, she let it be known. Average man. I mean, yes, an average man, he deserves respect too. Yes, an average man, he doesn't have to come with a six pack, making six figures, having a net worth, having a network. He doesn't have to be in my life bringing all of these things. Still, an average man will deserve and will have my respect. You need to learn these things. Why do you expect a man to bring all of these things to the table when you don't even look feminine? You, listen, you women, you need to learn from me. She said, you women, you need to learn from me. Ooh -wee. You need to learn how to be feminine, cooperative. And man... Like I said, the ladies from other countries since the shutdown had opportunities to get themselves a man from America if they choose to. A guy that a lot of the ladies in America don't want. These ladies are willing to take them in, show them around how it's done, get down to business, and grow a family and be very successful. And now... These other ladies is having a crossfire about it, saying, why you're in our business? I'm here trying to show you how to do it, but you're too busy attacking me, turning around, saying I'm attacking you. And then to sit down here and tell the world how you did not compete because there was no competition, when in reality, the black woman is and has always been and will always be the blueprint. And nobody, and I say this from the bottom of my heart, will ever ever understand your husband's living reality better than a black woman and that's on that there is nothing to argue here and i don't care how many delusional points you bring up how many fucking fruit bowls and drinks okay here's the thing now you could say that however these other ladies do have a point two that's with a so-called black man because you do have a majority of them now you know in this day of time getting with so-called black men 
I'm not saying all. They prefer to be with their own too. At the same time, you're starting to see an uptick of it. You know what I'm saying? To the point the other men are talking about it for various reasons, good or bad, okay? Let's continue. Serve your husband. That's the reality of it all. And you, you just proved the entire point. Because nowhere did you... That pointing, that's what the, the sisters would be doing, that pointing. They known for pointing. Majority of the uh, B-dubs and other American women have learned that from them, that pointing. So you could tell she is one. She is one, even though she don't look like one. You could know by the fruit, okay? Let's continue. Mention emotional intelligence. Nowhere did you mention uh, growth. Nowhere did you mention companionship. Nowhere did you mention soulmates. Nowhere did you mention deep love. What you mentioned is a fucking fruit ball and a drink. Look at that face. Everyone just look at that face. These women are really mad and I still don't understand why. I know I keep saying this, but that... She said, look at that face. Look at that face. Look like men. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. She knows why she says she don't know why. She kind of know why. And according to her, she was in America for two years with her husband. And she was glad to go back to Germany. In a sense. She's not saying that America this, America that. What she's saying is this is not a place for a family to grow our kids. Not the way these people are. And how what she saw from her experience of how the women treat their kids. Let's go. Really, because I don't get it. They're the ones who are always mentioning black women. They're the ones who are always saying, you were taking black women. Maybe I'm not. I don't have one single reason to. And I understand where this woman is coming from when she is saying you haven't mentioned anything about deep love, companionship, being a soulmate. And I'm going to tell you, yes, I have. I have plenty of videos, but the proof is in the pudding. I've been married for 15 years, so there's something obviously that I'm doing, yeah, right? It is. Okay, but at the end of the day, this goes to show you that not a lot of women go to the source of where this clip came from, which is my channel, research my content, and then figure out, wait a minute, there's, there are some false accusations that I've been about this woman. She's not even, she doesn't even stand for all of this. These women hear what they want to hear and run with it. So I'm watching that video with that German girl we go. talking and comparing herself and talking about competition when it comes to black women and black men. And I just want to know what the f what was the reason, sis? Like, what the f was the reason? Who are you in competition with? Because I don't see any videos made by any black woman thinking about you. We f mind our business literally we are over here minding our business and worrying about what we need to do either for ourselves or for our community and y'all are always attacking black women our names stay in your mouth again where is the attack but as long as somebody feels attacked feels like they are a victim they are holding grudges all the time these people are going to be aggressive uptight they're going to be argumentative and negative. Oh, did I just describe the last woman that you were with? Well, there's only one reason for that. A lot of women love to play victim, which is the reason why they're so quick to say, oh, I'm traumatized. I just don't get the attention anymore that you used to give me. I don't know what to do anymore. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My goodness, she is going in. Yeah, 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 that's not undeniable. I have been diagnosed with, I have, I'm bipolar. I don't know what to do. That's just who I am. Wow. You gotta help me to uplift my spirits. Wow. No, he doesn't. And let me remind you of one thing. It was not us foreign women who started making videos about American women being like this, being like that. As soon as the passport bro movement has arised, now that's true, that's true, that's true. When the men started talking and it got the women from other countries' attention, eventually they had to step in, the ones that's in a serious relationship with their man, they had to step in. So here we go. It was American women who came out 
and said that these men are leaving the countries to be predators and to go be with women who are uneducated, who don't speak English, and who just want the green card. So honestly, yeah, that was that. That's definite. That's definite. That's definite. And it, it was not just the women per se. It was men too at that particular time. Certain men. Now, me personally, I don't think every so-called black man should travel to another country unless he got his mind right, situated, clear, clarity. Because there's been some incidents, a uh, few incidents. That can't be annoyed, you know what I'm saying? Like, you go to certain countries, you got to have respect because they don't play that. You know what I'm saying? They do not play it. And I know she probably talk about that. And her husband, you know, knows about that, you know, respectfully. Yeah, you can't play that. There ain't no playing around in the, in the mother countries. Even with their own men, they don't play that. So you coming from another place, particularly America too, man... Let's go. And being very objective, the attacks are coming from somewhere else. We are never been the ones who are attacking you. Uh oh, so this video right here got you sisters bothered. Uh oh. That's crazy. And even some of y'all agree with the message. Here we go. Y'all just saying she doesn't have the right to deliver the message because she isn't a black woman? Where was this energy when y'all thought? Ben Horowitz said, black women are for billionaires. Where was this energy when Cynthia G allowed a white man to come on her panel and disrespect black men? Uh oh. Y'all loved her for that. Where was this energy when that black woman got on the internet talking about she wouldn't date American black men? Yeah. Y'all agree with her. Y'all said we was cheap. Y'all said we didn't know how to date. Y'all made it seem like we was bums. But when y'all see that there's other women all over the world that will appreciate us, y'all be bothered. Make this shit make sense. Where was this energy when y'all allow every race on this earth to disrespect Kevin Samuels, a black man? Good point. Good point. Now, it's no secret I critique KS at the time. Many others have critiqued KS at the time. At the same time, he was doing his thing. Okay? Okay, you know that feeling when you're at work and you're miserable and you realize it's time to make a change? Everything that man said was true. And do you see the difference in the tone of voice, the energy? That's how a lot of men operate. They don't scream on top of their lungs. They don't operate. That's just not what they do. And just looking at some women celebrating Kevin Samuel's death, that just tells you a lot about women. I mean, let's just look at it objectively. Somebody's son died, brother, uncle, teacher of millions of millions of people. And you have women celebrating someone losing their life. Yo, that is so insane. Hi there, Puerto Rican woman from America. Yeah. Now you have a Puerto Rican from America is weighing in on this conversation. Here we go. I see you got yourself a black man. Congratulations. You know why? Because by default, black men always treat women that are not their race differently. Oh, siempre es culpa del hombre. Translate into, it's always Jermaine's fault. So I guess it's the man's Oh, snap. She even knows the language, which I'm not surprised. Oh, man, that's cold. Oh, man, she even knows the language. They speak different languages. Don't be surprised. Don't be thinking they just speak English or the other native language. Hoo-wee. Let's go. Oh, now that he wants to date outside of the U.S. I don't 
don't even think that what she said is true. I know it's not true. And from the way she said it, you can clearly see that these women are out here on the internet saying things and they don't even understand what they are saying, if it makes sense or it doesn't. They're just trying to go along with whatever is trending right now. And honey, instead of you being on the internet saying something that doesn't make any sense, you should go to the gym because that would make a lot more sense for you. Oh. She said, you should go to the gym. That would make a lot of sense for you. Now, let's be fair, you know, some of us guys got to get ourselves situated and the ladies got to get themselves situated as she's talking to the woman per se. Now, she did say that a man doesn't have to have a six pack for the most part. At the same time, it's important to stay healthy because when you go to another country, you ain't going to eat no non-GMO. So, the more likely you're going to get yourself eventually in shape if you do the right thing if you do the right thing of course so however she's saying now yeah women pride themselves in other countries to be in shape you know what i'm saying oh oh yeah oh yeah for the most part yeah oh yeah she going in on her Whew. okay so next one i guarantee you here we go the man that she has, that she's over here talking about, I cook and I clean, and clean is a stretch. A stretch. If it's you've a, learned anything from... It's a stretch. Oh, okay. We're we dealing with a bi bilingual language. These internet streets, clean is a stretch. <laughs> that man is, I guarantee you, is not a quality man. I promise you to allow the woman that you are with to disrespect, discredit, talk down to women in your family, not even just black women as a whole. She didn't say anything about black women. Where is the disrespect in my message? The only thing that I find disrespectful in her clip is her wig. And as far as my husband and you saying that he's a low quality man, honey, I am sure that he would be a low quality man in your eyes. You know why? Because he would not put you on a pedestal. He would snatch that wig off of your head and say, wear your natural hair, woman. He would not take care of your child. He would not pay your bills. He Instead of that, he would hold you accountable. But some modern Western. Oh, man, she done said it. She done said it. She done said it. She said the wig thing, he would not take care of you and that kid of yours. That's not his. Woo-wee. Woo. -wee. Woo. Mm, 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 mm. Say, put that natural hair of yours on. Oh, my goodness. Women really don't like a man to be masculine. They don't like a man who is self-aware, who has confidence, and especially they don't want a man who looks good because then... She's not lying about that. I done told you guys they want to control you for the most part. They want to control you. If they can't control you, they will disassociate themselves from you, they will remove themselves from you and get a guy who potentially could control and have the final say. These women would have to compete for that man, which they will never ever do. So, yes, honey, my husband is a low quality man. You're right, he is. About this because of what this woman said, girl, I don't give a damn about what she's talking about. I don't give a damn about her, her, her marriage. Everything she does for this man is a trauma response. I don't want to be in a relationship like that. So I'm definitely happy for her. And no, there is no competition. None at all. Everything that she talks about is a trauma response to what this man did or what he went through prior to meeting him. And she has to overcompensate for that. That is not something that I want to do in a relationship. I would like a man that comes fully worked on meaning those may have been his earlier experiences but he has worked on himself to move past those things to where i don't have to overgive, overextend 
to ensure that he is at peace, um, that he is content within our relationship. I would like for him to have that contentment on his own. I would like for him to have that peace on his own. I don't want to have to give him those things because that takes away from me. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Do you know how many times I have heard that? Anyway, that is one of the problems. This woman said that she wants her man to come fully worked on so she doesn't have to invest too much time and effort and energy because it's taken away from her. So whatever. Of course, they're going to want somebody that's on point. At the same time, can they stay with the person that's on point? It's the question. And we know that not to be the case most of the times. You know, when you're on point, that's when they disappear. When you're not on point, they appear. So it's opposite of what they say. And she probably knows that. She probably definitely knows that. Or is aware of it now. Of what they, It's not what they say, it's what they do. What you do, gentlemen, that takes away from a woman, she's not going to be there for it. Which means that these women that just want you to bring certain things into their lives right. but when it's time for them to bring something into your life whether if it's peace a new diet or whatever you can imagine a woman could bring into your life right they're not there for it right which is the reason for why all of these women are single because right. they have the type of attitude whatever doesn't benefit me whatever takes away from me has to stay away from me right all right everybody that was enough negativity for now let's focus on a couple of valuable content creators who i admire who i respect and who i highly appreciate who looked at the whole situation and my message objectively instead of right 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 what she just said i pointed out so she's on point awareness shout out to her hubby shout out to her listening with their emotions you ready let's go German lady got on this here internet and said that she found an average black man that she introduced femininity and care and nurture to because she he had never seen it and he picked her over what he was used to dealing with and then she went on to say this black American family has barely a family unit you know, there is no breakfast, lunch, and dinner at set times. And these are things that I introduced my husband to. And after she said that, she goes on to say that black women need to just accept that they're going to end up being by themselves. Because black men are tired of dealing with the loud mouth, the attitude, no care, no love, no nurturing, no family unit. And after listening to everything, baby, she right. His family didn't even do that for him. I'm going to tell you something. Everything she says right there sounds pretty much right. Do you understand how she talks about being selfless? Not selfish, but selfless. Catering to her man, being polite to her man. And she also talks about being respectful to her man. In other words, when she said, when he's talking, I listen. And when he's finished talking, then I will speak. Remember how the white lady talked. Now, observe how these black women talk. Let's get it. One of my close friends, he's dated a white girl now. Sure. And now, black girls like, why are you dating a white girl? And he told him, he told the whole, everyone. He said, because the black girls keep rejecting me. It's <laughs> exactly what he says. It's just the truth. I'm it sucks, corn, but okay. it's life. Thank is you. he spending it money? Thank you. See, that's the problem. That's not a problem. See, that's the problem. Why does a man have to pay in order for a woman to pay attention to him? In order for a woman to value that man? And there it is. There it is. It's more to it than that. It's about taking your soul and going with them to the fire, to the hell burn, if you're not careful. Because a lot of them, they love evil. And it's not to say that women from other countries don't love evil if they are into the Babylonian ways. It's just that you see it more here than you would in other countries. It's not to say it's not going on in other countries. It's just that it's going on more here prevalently. And most ladies that come from other countries move here, get indoctrinated with it too, just as much as the ones that's indoctrinated that's born here. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Let's go. And that is one of the biggest problems that 
women have. No, a man doesn't have to pay. Women need to learn to accept and acknowledge and appreciate the man for who he is and not for what he's spending his money on. Because at the end of the day, when you women say that you can only be feminine if a man spends money on you, I already know that you have no idea what it means to be feminine. You cannot turn your femininity on and off like a light switch. You speak, and especially a man, you would let that man speak, and then you would listen and then say whatever you have to say. Here we go. And that's facts. She's again illustrating the order of things. She said, look, we we don't we don't over talk and overpower our men we allow the man to speak we allow him to voice his concern thank you so much Danica. i hope i'm saying your name right please i'm sorry if i don't but i appreciate the fact that you dissected uh -huh. my whole video and was able to bring my message to your audience she has a large following and i'm so thankful that she hopefully was able to make a couple of women understand that i am not here to attack anyone I am not here to do any of that. I'm just here sharing my experiences and trying to set an example on how you can work on you. She did acknowledge it. Danica did acknowledge it at the same time. It kind of got her irritated because she know the women in America has a big issue. And now this is a big issue. And now the turn of events I'm not going to get into it. You know the turn of events that's going on right now that is starting an uptick in this country. Oh, my goodness. Whew. I'm going to leave it at that. Femininity. And tell me, what's wrong with that? So these were the positive reactions to my video, and I am thankful, very, very thankful for that because you cannot imagine. I'm looking online, and all I see is negativity, and then I come across videos like these ones, and it literally makes my heart smile. And every time she said, Martin Nikisha wants to slap the shit out of her, I'm like, I understand. I know. I totally get it. I understand. But it's all love, always. I don't stand for anything else, and that's all I'm going to have to say. Everybody, that was today's video. That was my reaction to hundreds and hundreds of response videos that are out there. I am not able to catch up with all of them. It's really a job. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, thank you so much to everyone who is new to this channel. Stay tuned for more content. I appreciate all of you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It is highly appreciated. And as always, stay tuned for more content and stay blessed. All right. There it is. There it is. So tell me what y'all think. Looking forward to seeing what y'all got to say in the chat and also in the comment section. Peace.